In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between Sheer SEO and SEO Diddy. We'll be comparing things such as pricing, keyword tracking features, keyword research features, on-page features, off-page features, and overall, we'll be taking a look at how easy or beginner-friendly both of these tools are. When it comes to pricing, SEO Diddy has a lifetime deal currently on AppSumo, and it starts at $79 for the first tier of the lifetime deal. For $79, you get 2,500 web pages, 300 keywords, 10 competitors, 20,000 backlinks, and 250 on demand, on site, and lighthouse analysis per month. And the largest tier is tier 5, which is $450, and they give you 200,000 web pages, 8,000 keywords, 50 competitors, 500,000 backlinks, and 4,000 on demand, on site and Lighthouse analysis per month. Sheer SEO did have a lifetime deal on AppSumo, but it recently expired. So if you wanted to get Sheer SEO, then you would have to get it through the regular website. Um, you can get a free plan, which starts at $0, but it will give you only 20 uh, keywords, uh, some traffic estimation, three reports, one site audit, 100 pages crawled, um, two optimization targets, one page optimization, and three guarded backlinks. So if you have a very small website, then this should be more than enough for you. But if you wanted to get a paid plan, then it starts at $10 per month for 200 keywords and $15 per month for 400 keywords. And you also have a couple of other features included here in which we'll be taking a look at in just a little bit. So if you're looking strictly at pricing, I would have to go with SEO Diddy because there is a lifetime deal for $79 while you would have to pay monthly for sheer SEO. But again, even if you're paying monthly for this tool, it's not too expensive when you compare that to other um, SEO tools within the market. So usually for a high level SEO tool, you're paying around 90 bucks to 100 or 150 per month. But most people do prefer the lifetime deal. So I would have to go with SEO Diddy over sheer SEO. I'll leave links for both sheer SEO and SEO Diddy in the description below this video. And also keep a lookout to see if AppSumo relaunches the lifetime deal for sheer SEO. Again, I'll leave those links below the video. Now let's go ahead and compare the keyword research tools that are included in sheer SEO and in SEO Diddy. So keyword research is a very important uh, feature that's included in any SEO tool. So in order to get started, just go ahead and search up any keyword. And while that's loading up, I'm going to go ahead and head over to SEO Diddy and head over to the keyword research tool and uh, search up the same keyword. And as you can see, this is the keyword library in which you get back from um, Sheer SEO. So you get a bunch of different variations of that keyword. You're also able to see your keyword volume, your cost per click, your competitor index, and the keyword difficulty for those specific keywords. Now, if I head back over to SEO Diddy, I'm also able to see a list of keywords. Um, I can also see the keyword difficulty and the search volume as well. The only differences that I can see between these two keyword research tools is that it seems as though you have a lot more filtering on sheer SEO. So you can filter by volume, by number of words, by keyword difficulty, and so on. While on SEO Diddy, I don't really see the options to do so. And it's also very easy to get keyword ideas and related keywords on SEO Diddy. While it's a little bit more difficult to get variations of that keyword um, right here on sheer SEO. So for keyword research tools, I don't think that there's a clear winner. I would give both of them a score of four out of five. Now let's go ahead and look at the keyword tracking and the rank trackers included in both tools. So the first drop down menu on the Sheer SEO dashboard allows you to take a look at rankings. So you can go ahead and take a look at your current rankings and you'll be able to see um, the latest progress. You'll be able to see the volume, the difficulty of that keyword and where that keyword is being ranked on Google. On SEO Diddy, just head over to the rank tracker. And again, here is where you'll be able to see all of the rankings for your specific keyword. A nice feature that's included in SEO Diddy is the ability to filter this by different periods. You can actually go ahead and filter by month or by quarter or even year to see how your rankings have improved over a period of time. And you also have the ability to do that as well on um, sheer SEO, but you just have to go ahead and select a specific date. And it seems as though on SEO Diddy that you're only able to track for Google, while on Sheer SEO, as we saw earlier, you're able to track for Bing, YouTube, and Google Local. Overall, both of these rank trackers are pretty good, but I would give Sheer SEO a 0.5 higher than SEO Diddy because you're able to track for Google, for Bing, and for YouTube as well. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the on-page tools and features included in both Sheer SEO and SEO Diddy. Let's start by taking a look at Sheer SEO. So if you wanted to use the SEO tools, just head over to the on-page SEO section. And here you'll have a bunch of features in which you can use. So the first feature is the site audit. So this will give you an overview of your website, show you any issues in which you need to improve upon and give you recommendations as to how to go about fixing those issues. And you also have page optimization. So this is a pretty neat feature which allows you to optimize specific pages um, for your website. So if you wanted to optimize a page for a specific um, keyword, then you can go ahead and do so here. And you also have access to some pretty cool keyword density metrics. Now, if I head over to SEO Diddy and head over to on site, here we'll be able to see the on site or on page tools included. So we have an audit here, like we saw in Sheer SEO. We have a data explorer tool. We have a performance section, which will show you an overview of the performance of your website. You have a redirect flow and you have your keywords cloud. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the off page tools included in both Sheer SEO and in SEO Diddy. So in order to take a look at the off page tools, we want to take a look at things such as backlinks. So on Sheer SEO, right away, I can see that there's a lot more features when it comes to off page optimization. So you're able to see site backlinks, you're able to see the site history. We have a backlinks explorer, so you can search up any um, URL and you'll be able to see the backlinks for that URL. And we have a backlink checker. And if you head over to SEO Diddy, um, first you'll be able to see the overview of your own specific backlinks. And if you want to search up any other website, you can go ahead and search it up in this toolbar and all of their backlinks will be able to be shown um, at the bottom of the section here. You can also see their anchor text, the date it was added, the PR and DR of those websites as well. So overall, I think they both have really good and useful on-page and off-page tools. But again, I would give Sheer SEO a 0.5 higher on both on-page and off-page tools, just because I feel like they have a little bit more features and functionality when compared to SEO Diddy. And the last feature that I want to discuss is the competitive research tools included in both Sheer SEO and in SEO Diddy. When it comes to competitive research, I think there is a big gap between Sheer SEO and SEO Diddy. You have a lot more features included in Sheer SEO that allows you to do competitive research and allows you to find keywords that your competitors are ranking for that you currently are not ranking for. So for instance, under the keyword gap tool, you're able to enter up to three competitors and they will compare your keywords that the competitors are ranking for that you're currently not ranking for. So you're able to pull a lot of really useful information using this tool. You're also able to use the organic research tool in order to, again, find shared keywords between both you and your competitors. And you're also able to see um, a breakdown of the um, keywords in which your competitors are ranking for, uh, the traffic in which they're getting, and how that compares to your domain. While on SEO Diddy, you are able to compare your domain to your competitors, but you're only able to see the top pages on maybe a comparison between the domain, you're not really able to see the gap between the keywords in which you're ranking for and your competitors aren't ranking for or what your competitor is ranking for and what you're not ranking for. So you're not really able to do that comparison on SEO Diddy as you're able to do on Sheer SEO. And Sheer SEO also has some specific features that aren't included in SEO Diddy. So you're able to do direct resubmission right from this tool. You're able to do blog reviews, you're able to connect Twitter and Facebook, and you also have a report section, which will create automatic reports for your domain. So for those reasons, I'd give Sheer SEO an overall score of 26 out of 30, and I'd give SEO DD a score of 25 out of 30. In my personal opinion, Sheer SEO is the better tool. They've been on the market longer than SEO Diddy, which is a fairly new tool, and they also have a lot more features and functionality when compared to SEO Diddy. But if you don't want to pay monthly for an SEO tool and you just need to do some basic SEO optimization for a couple of websites, then SEO Diddy would be a good option as well. I'll go ahead and leave links for both tools in the description below this video. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.